What's up guys? Welcome to the Comar Project and today we're going to be making a tool wall that's going to be right behind me. But not just your regular tool wall. Mm -mm -mm. It's going to be made out of reclaimed lumber. So if you want to see how I got this to look like that, stick around and check it out. So the idea for this tool has been bouncing around in this head for quite some time. And I just don't want to build your regular old tool wall. It's still going to be nice. I want this thing to be unique to me and I got a couple pieces of criteria for this thing to hit in order to be kind of what I'm looking for. So, here we go. One, it has to function. It needs to be able to source chisels, planes, and all sorts of other tools that I'm gonna be putting up there. Two, I want this thing to be out of reclaimed lumber. That means pallets, furniture that I've taken apart, any other lumber that I have laying around or I can find. And three, I want this thing to be mobile. Now when I say mobile, I don't mean we're gonna be moving it around, putting it in different places. What I mean is, if I end up moving to a different shop, I wanna be able to disassemble this thing, take it off the wall, and take it with me. All right, with that said, let's get some materials and start building this thing. I'm so excited. Okay, so I think we got ourselves a design. I don't know if it's gonna work, but. We may need to get some more pallets, but. So what I'm thinking is I have all this other stuff here that needs to be re -sawn. Let's do that now. I think I have enough wood. I think. I'm gonna resaw all this stuff and I'll probably get three times the amount that I have here. That should work. But you guys have seen wood being cut on every woodworking video that's out there, right? So let's kick it up a notch and make this montage look pretty smooth. Let's do it. Cue the music.
So how was that milling montage? That's what I'm calling it, milling montage. Now that that's done, we get to go have some fun and put it on the wall. trying to figure this out. Did you just say to me? Unbelievable. You never trust mine. Proud of it. Like a dad. Day three of the build, it's time for tools. I think I've done it. Have to get it out. And I'm ready to plane. And it's mobile. I can take it off and put it anywhere else. Now to do the other 16 or 10 or whatever it is. We can make this work, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, just go back to what you were watching. Sorry about that.
be done. So if you like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe down here, I think, so that when I make stuff like that again, you don't miss it. Yeah, so if you subscribe, you're gonna get this craziness. Or, but anyways, let's mount all this stuff to the wall and have the final reveal. Let's do it. So there you go guys, the Komar Project tool wall is done. I finally have all the tools at on arm's reach whenever I'm working at my assembly table here. And the entire thing is mobile, so I can disassemble it. Each tool has its own holder and it's being held together with a screw and can be moved out. Some of the tools actually have L-shaped brackets that are CA glued onto the pallet wall. And that shouldn't be a problem down the road. You can always use a little debonder and if you want to move some stuff around, you can always do that. I'm super excited about how it came out. I have all my tools right where I want them. The hand planes slide into their holder and are held up with a magnet. Pretty sure you don't need the magnet because they're holding up very well without it, but I just wanted them a little bit more secure. All of my measuring and layout tools are right in the middle of the wall so I can just grab and go. And all of my Japanese and Western style saws are right next to each other so I don't have to run around all over the shop and try and find one. And I still have my dab dude, which is pretty awesome because he makes me laugh. And the best thing about this tool wall is that it's made out of 90% pallet wood and about 10% reclaimed lumber. So everything's been upcycled, which makes me feel really good about it. If you want to make one of these for yourselves, or if you just want to say it's kind of cool or have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. And if you really like this wall and you're up with upcycling, up with upcycling, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends so I can keep making fun stuff like this. And as always, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for joining me on this experience. I love this wall and I'll see you guys next time with the wall.